Hi, my name is Bernard from the Disarmer Group at the YSP, and today I'll be talking to you about radiation. The biological effects of radiation are primarily due to its interaction with the DNA, which causes many potentially deadly effects. Now, radiation does this by damaging DNA in many different ways. However, some extremophiles can not only survive, but thrive under high radiation environments. Self-loving organisms from the domain of archaea are one of these extremophiles. Termed halophilic archaea, or simply haloarchaea, they have been isolated in many different extreme environments, such as those in extreme temperature, high salt concentrations, and even in acidic or basic environments. In terms of radiation, Haloarchaea are about 1,000 times more resistant to it than humans are. Even more interesting, however, is that some mutant species are actually even more radiation resistant, closer to about 3,000 times better of that of a humans. Now, these studies were actually conducted at the Dasarma laboratory as well, and they were the pioneers of studying haloarchaea, being the first to sequence a haloarchaea genome. The way Haloarchaea protects itself from radiation is the main focus of my study here at the YSP. Now, literature data have shown that some genes are upregulated during exposure, which could mean that they are important, perhaps by protecting DNA, similar to how other organisms do it as well. My project studied the structure of the proteins from these genes, as well as their evolution via bioinformatics. How are these proteins involved in the radiation resistance of Haloarchaea? Are there other similar proteins in other species? What do the protein structures tell us about how they operate? These are a few of the questions that I aim to answer in my research. I'd like to thank my mentors, Professor Shiladitya Dasarma and Priya Dasarma, my co-RAs, and the entire BIMSIS community for a really wonderful and memorable time here at the YSP. Thanks!